right now, doctor, and we're looking at spine osteoarthritis, doctor? That's correct. Can you tell us what that is? So basically here we have the spine. Uh, what I'm seeing is the spine looking from the side view here. So basically the belly will be sitting over here, okay? And uh, the back portion of the back muscle will be down here in the skin. So basically we have it in between, uh, and the spine is being uh, formed by the bones on the spine, which are this squares that you guys see over here. And in between we have this uh, structures which are called the disc. The disc, they serve as the, as the cushion uh, in between the different segments. As you can see, uh, suppose you can see a normal one, how smooth it is, the levels, and how irregular the levels become. So normally what happens as we age, the disc, they start losing some of the water content. They will start looking, losing some of the, the tensile strength. They become weaker. And um, so when they become weaker, some of the stress, normally keeping in mind that they bear about 80% of the load of the spine, the rest is being transferred to those joints that they were referring to in the, in the, in the clip, which are called the facet joints or the cecopophyseal joints. Those joints, they then become arthritic. Instead of being tw bearing about 20% of the spine, the load of the spine, now they're bearing more, more load. So they become arthritic. They can um, develop some bone spurs. And normally when they develop the bone spur, they normally develop over here. And as you can see, this structure that is coming out here is called a nerve. So if the disc starts narrowing, they start getting thinner, and some of the joints they start uh, ingrowing over here and causing some, some bone spurs, the nerve can get compressed, and some, that's one of the reasons of people developing sciatica. And when they get compressed, doctor, that's obviously where the pain occurs? That's correct. So typically, depending on the level, sometimes we might see this on, on a normal MRI, or, or I mean, on a, on a given an MRI, and the patient might be completely asymptomatic. So that doesn't mean because you have those findings on an imaging, which we expect as we age, that people are going to get the innovative changes as we age. But uh, it's just like the gray hair. But on some occasions, those symptoms, those findings can correlate with the symptomatology, and that's basically up to the clinician just to figure it out and address those uh, those findings.